Finally, I think we're getting out of the labyrinth back to the surface and we're gonna flex to everybody. Our lolly wife, who is actually 300 plus years old, so it's gonna be fine. And we got a bunch of new guns and cool new iPads and prosthetic arm and revenge. Please, please give me some good revenge. Let's begin. Oh, 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 that's not a lolly. Who is this? Hello? Bunny girl? Now we're talking. Now, 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 now we're talking. What is she waiting for? Little bunny girl. Bunny girl versus... Big... T-Rex thing. Dinosaur. Double-headed dinosaur. She's cute. She's very cute. So, she can't really fight. She's a cute little bunny girl that just runs away. Oh, she can climb very fast, though. This is hilarious. <laughs> what? what is she doing out here? Oh. That's, that's us. Wait. She's really good at dodging, though. You saw that. There's Yue. Oh, shit. Hajime. And we're back on the surface. Damn, even the dinosaur got scared and ran away. But, oh, bunny girl. Join our party. <laughs> Pretty cute. <laughs> she's very cute. Me? How does she? What? What? She, how does she know what she's waiting for? Finally, what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Wait, this is an Oni Sama Miyuki moment. <laughs> Wait, what was that look? How does she know who to expect for? Yeah. It's a little rabbit girl, but like... Finally meet you. I've been waiting for you. Like, how? How did you know this? Based by... Right into the wall. That's actually pretty impressive, her durability. Title drop. This episode's title called The Worthless Rabbit. Yeah, you always really picked up on Hajime's like basedness. You know, in like the first like, when they first met, Hajime just left, and when Hajime just fucking shot at Yue before. A little jealous, are we? Okay, the rabbit ears are real. The pull on the tail too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, do we know each other? Like, who are you? But like, no, really, who are you? Well, first of all, you're not that young compared to Yue. Not age-wise, look-wise. <laughs> well, she she is pretty little pretty bunny girl, but goddamn, we don't care about her. Oh, hello, dragon. Uh, dinosaur again. Bang, bang. Yes, it did. Bang. No, we're built diff. No, we're built diff. Watch. Bye-bye. And it's over. Hey, at least the dinosaur wasn't CGI. Mm-hmm. Shoot her. Did he just pistol whip her? He just hit her? In okay. Shea. Eldest daughter. Oh, okay. Save. She's bouncing up. But save family? Like, we don't got time for... I guess we do. Why not? We're not really in a rush. You're not going to shoot her, right? You wouldn't, right? He already pistol whipped her before. Oh, come on, help her out. Look at Yue. Keep pulling her ears. What the fuck? Are you wiping your face with his... <laughs> this, okay, this, this rabbit girl is pretty funny. Complimenting yourself again. I mean, she is a beautiful young girl, right? She, she is, but again, Yue is again much younger in terms of looks. <laughs> you can't compete with the lolly if we're talking about youngness. Oh my god. That's some high school TXTs. Oh, proportions. Oh, Jesus. Kind of true. Very true. But, you know, I don't, I, I, I don't think Hajime really cares about those features. I think he likes the flat. Oh my god. Oh, boing. Boing. He is flustered, that's why he's not looking, and you is mad. <laughs> is she gonna attack both of them? Too late. Bye bye! A tornado? Really? So, usually they can't manipulate mana, but Shea can. Shea is very special. 
What kind of magic? Oh, future sight. That's why she was expecting that. Future possible futures. This is ridiculously OP. Yo, we have an oracle here. Yo, we need to recruit this oracle. Come on, if we save them, we'll have a bunch of cat girls and bunny girls. Wait, what is that? No, oh, it's our like a vehicles, right? <laughs> Damn, bro, we got a fucking motorcycle? A harem of cat and bunny girls. <laughs> oh, that was magic. That was actual magic. I thought she was like some kind of like like intimidating look. See? Oh, they're all it's just the village of bunny people. Oh, she's so adorable. Uh-oh. 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 Hajime! Right on time. Oh, we're gonna use her as actual bait. Just fucking throw her? Oh, you actually threw her! She'll be fine! <laughs> oh, she's gonna be covered in those juices! Maybe that's the whole point of the fan service. Imagine you- And we caught her. But imagine you arrive at this village, the eldest daughter of the tribe, and you just fucking use her as bait in front of the entire tribe. We did save them from the, you know, the different predators, but still. And we throw on the ground. I think the bunny likes the rough treatment though. Immediately off the bat, her entire thing was just being fast and loud and just bonk straight into the ground, you know, shit like that. Okay, this is good. I think we're speed running the saving the village because I don't really care about that, right? It's, it's better if we just get through this and go to the, you know, our, where we came from with our fucking traitors. What is, rabbit men are pretty weak at everything, huh? Oh, look, there's like bear people here. I don't know. Shoot them. Bang, bang. <laughs> Serves you right. But like, the rabbit people just, they just suck, huh? <laughs> what are they good at? They're just good for looking cute? Okay, I think we saved the village. You know what? Usually I'd be upset if they were to speedrun through arcs like this, but this arc... It, they could have like stretched it towards two episodes, but the pacing would have been shit. In fact, I, I'm much like, I, I'm very happy they did this. It's not revenge anymore. What is the goal? Just live peacefully. But the shitty people aren't gonna let us live peacefully. So he's gonna have to enact some kind of like attack on them, right? Self-defense. No one asked. <laughs> no one invited you? <laughs> I want the bunny girls to join us though. She's very fun. What is this? Some actual sparring? You shouldn't yell if it's a secret attack. What the fuck was that? What? What are they crying for? What? Oh! It's because they killed the thing, but they felt so bad about it. Because they're so soft. They're not meant for attack. They honestly... They just live to be cute and shit. Exactly that. <laughs> They're too soft! They're too cute! How could you? How could you? You monster! They can't though! They're cute. Can they learn that though? They're so cute! Oh shit. She is so strong though, what the fuck? Physical abilities, like, actually very strong. You gotta stop yelling when it's gonna be sneak attacks. This honestly is not really fair to fight against Yue like that. But damn, Shea is actually really strong. Ooh, got a hit in you. That counts as a win. Lie, you just wheeled it. So pretty. Yeah, why do you want to come? Don't tell me you fell in love with Hajime. Oh, don't tell me you fell in love, bro. Are you? I mean, I love you? That's dangerous. Uh oh. I thought that was Shea for a second. Wait. The bunnies have changed. Have they hardened? Are they like cold-blooded killers now? Wait, they're super jacked now too. What the fuck? Their eyes! What happened to them? Okay, this is total 180. What the fuck? It's comically funny how evil they, how like stronger they became. Kill or be killed. Maverick's design, huh? No, 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 no! Don't, don't go to another labyrinth, please. Don't, please, don't, please, please, don't, please. Uh, 
Is this opening another labyrinth? Are you serious right now? Are we going to another What is this doing? Baby Shea? <gasps> Baby Shea! Look at mom's droopy ears. <laughs> Why don't you want to be a monster? Come on, Shea. Come on, my little girl, my little monster. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you can see the future, Shea. And you're super strong, too. Someone else, someone special to you. And that someone is Hajime, isn't it? So the person that mother prophesied was Hajime, huh? Just like you. Different monsters. Outcasts. Mom was right about that. So with this added background, you know, it kind of makes more sense why Shea fell in love with Hajime so fast. Also, the fact that they're bunnies, I'm sure they're like different, you know, how corny bunnies were. Yeah, if, if you for ignore the pacing, you know, like to Shea, like, us saving the village, like, means a lot to Shea. Come on, let her join, let her join, come on. Okay. He's very cute. UAC's competition, though. Ooh, worthless rabbit in front of her entire tribe. Hey, this is a good side to her. Look at those ears. Monster? Did you just call me a monster? That's what Hajime should be saying. That's actually better if other people are more mean to Hajime and his crew when we go back home. Because then that's more of a reason for us to, like, fight, right? Sure? Wow, it's so mean to her! I have a feeling she's just constantly gonna get shit on, but it's it's fine. I love how all these girls just became so jacked too. Holy shit. No, I think she's gonna be a very important asset to our team. Future sight, being super strong. These are so helpful. And big ass titties. It looks like I spoke too soon when I said that we're gonna be meeting back with our, you know, our traders, the classroom, because we have fucking four other labyrinths to clear now hear me out right like do you guys actually give a shit about the fights happening like the random cj monster fights i don't care about that what i do care about is how hajime is growing stronger and the interaction with ua like hajime awakening last episode or like a couple episodes ago or like ua's like and the sentimental moments those are great but the fight itself doesn't really matter they're pretty mid i don't give a shit about that right and i don't think you guys do either like what kind of emotional investment do you have to the cgi monster that doesn't mean shit you know what will have an emotional investment when we confront that fucking bully when we meet everyone else they're gonna see hajime ua and now shea they're gonna be reacting in such a different way that's that's what we're here for and to hear that we have to clear four more fucking labyrinths to get to the actual main labyrinth here and then maybe we can go i don't i don't know where this show is going i don't know i just hope that the pacing will be as good as this episode where it's just like you know what we went there saved the village immediately no bullshit let's go you know that was actually good but hey if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care